Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, and let me give you a brief introduction for all of my newbies. My name is Emily. I am a single mom to a 13-year-old um, girl. I am here a part of the low-income budgeting community. My occupation is I am a full-time custodian for my local school district here. Um, my job is considered a state job, and so everything that we do over here is on a low-income budget. Okay, so today you know, um, I'm doing this video. It is a bonus cash stuffing of $110. Okay, so this is outside of my regular cash stuffing, with, um, which the money I get is from my uh, paycheck. So, um... And before I start, this is money comes from two of my subscribers that cash out me a monetary gift. Um, I had a subscriber, Cindy, send me $100. Thank you so much, Cindy, for your monetary gift. And I had um, Denise send me $25. So I just wanted to show you guys what I am going to use this cash for. So, um, out of the 125, I'm only going to stuff 110 of it, okay? So, the first thing we're going to do is stuff our 52-week savings challenge. I am going to put $10 in there. So, this is my little cheat sheet, y'all. I wrote out exactly what I am going to be using the money for, okay? So, let me see if I can get my camera to zoom in just a little bit there. All right, so we, I'm gonna put this to the side, but I'm gonna we're gonna count the cash, y'all. So let's see how much we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110. So th some of these tens are a little crispy, y'all. So I gotta be careful for them not to stick. Okay, so I got this from my local ATM. So I hardly ever get to make it inside of the bank. So I usually don't stuff a lot of fives or ones. I usually stuff tens and twenties. So we are going to start with the 52 week savings challenge. So this is my 52 week savings challenge that one of my subbies had gifted me from Amazon. If you're interested in the 52 week savings challenge binder, you can go over in my description box and under my Amazon affiliate account, you can find the link for this binder. Um, if you order through my link, I will receive a small commission from you ordering through that link. And there are other products there that you may be interested in as well. But yeah, I love this. I was I had a box that I was doing before. But um, this is what I was doing before I had to start over. So we're starting over here. And once I finish, I will be able to save 1,378. So this is just the tracker, you guys, for the 52-week savings challenge. You can color it in with a marker as you go. So we have done week one, two, three, four. I skipped around a little bit. Week 10 and 11, 12. Okay? So you, you don't have to go in order, or you can go in order. I've been kind of going around and just skipping. Sometimes I do overstuff these, you guys, if I don't have exact change. So we are going to put $10 in. Now, I've already did number 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm coming back to week 5. Week five, I'm going to overstuff by five dollars, so th that's just my choice. You don't have to overstuff, but I choose to overstuff sometimes, so that means I will actually have over the, the desired amount at the end. So I'm gonna put ten dollars in. Uh oh, I stuck it in week eight. I am going to put ten dollars in week five. Okay, so I'm putting my $10 in week five because I don't have any change, so I'm going to overstuff. 
So I am going to come back off camera and I am going to shade this in. But for the meantime, I'm just going to outline this because I forgot my color, my markers and stuff upstairs. So I'm just going to shade in week five with, I'm going to shade in the perimeter and come back in and color those two in because I obviously forgot week 12 too. Um, but I'm going to shade in number five for today. Okay, so we placed $10 in the 52-week savings challenge. Okay, so then I am going to put in $20 in new car savings. Okay, so this is my uh, low priority, I mean high priority uh, sinking funds binder. So I have this binder here with some categories in it. And I have a category of emergency fund. It doesn't have anything in the envelope, but I do have an emergency fund here in a brick and mortar bank in my town. Um, I don't disclose how much I have in my emergency fund just because it is a significant amount. And um, I have people that personally know me that watches my videos. And for the reason of me protecting my finances um i don't disclose it uh just because it is a significant amount and yeah i'm not letting anybody borrow anything so i act like i don't have anything but technically i do i just don't disclose it um just for um personal people that may watch my videos okay so car savings i am saving for a new used car you guys and as you can see, I cannot get into the envelope. So I might have to come back to add this off camera, which I will, um, just because my envelope is messed up right now. But I have $10 in car savings. I am trying to save to purchase a new used car because my car has 230,000 miles on it. So I know eventually the transmission or the um, or the uh, engine will be going out. Okay, so we got into the envelope, you guys. So I have $10 in here, and I'm going to add, I'm going to add uh, $20. So I'm gonna add this 20, so that makes 30, okay? So I have $30 in car savings. So I am trying to save to purchase a new used car to me. So I cannot afford a car payment. So I would like to pay cash for another car. So I did put in um, $20 So I have 30 in here. And I have trackers in here, y'all. I will fill those trackers out off camera. Okay, so next I have car maintenance. So in the meantime, I have to maintain the car that I have. Car maintenance has $10 and I am going to add $10 to it. So car maintenance has $20. I just did an oil change on my car and I've had some other work done. Um, this will be towards me getting brakes. So I should be saving towards brakes for, for my car now. Debt. So I do have some debt, and I have not done a debt confession video, but I am working on paying off debt, and I have 20, 30, and 40 in here. I am going to add $20. I'm add two tens to this. I'm going to take this money and deposit it and I have some medical bills that are coming in. So I'm going to start paying that first. 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So I have $60 here in debt. This will go towards the, my medical bills that I have coming in. I went to the urgent care and I do have medical insurance but if you have a high deductible or have not met your deductible, you will still get medical bills outside of your insurance. So I am, and I also went to the emergency 
um, room. So I have a bill coming in from that as well. So um, I forgot how much is in here. Let's count it one more time, you guys. I got sidetracked. 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So there's $60 in debt. Okay. And then birthdays. I have um, my mom's birthday is coming up. So I have $1 in birthday right now. Um, I'm not going to put anything in there for this bonus cash stuff. And fun has $10. And I'm not going to place anything in this, doing this stuffing. Okay, personal. I hate when my envelopes get off track, you guys. It's off track here. I'm open this up and re realign it. Okay, so fun has 10, personal has nothing. It's not getting anything. Deposit is if I need to deposit anything back into my account. It's not getting anything. It doesn't have anything. Back to school. Um, we just started back to school. So it does not have anything. It's not getting anything until next May. Rent. This is just for me to... Um, It's like for me to have extra towards these categories. But I've already paid my rent for the month of September. And utilities. This is just for me to have extra towards the bill. But I have recently paid all my utilities out of my account for the month of September. I'm all caught up on everything, you guys. Okay, so let's close this and let's do a little update here. I have did the 52 week savings challenge, new car savings, car maintenance, debt. And um, actually, let's just backtrack because... I do believe I skipped the category here. Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe it's in the next. It is. It's in my next one. Okay, so let's go back. Let's close my high priority sinking funds binder. And we're over here in my low priority. So these are things that I am saving over time. They're not as important as my high priority sinking funds. So here we go. Vacations. Vacation has $2 and it will be getting $10. I want to be going on a vacation next year. 10, 11, 12. Now, some people follow Dave Ramsey to the T. I do not. Um, I have a daughter and I would like to make memories with her. Um, and so we haven't been on vacation in three years. So this coming year, I would like to be able to take a trip somewhere. And it doesn't have to be a really expensive trip. It can be a mini trip. But I am saving towards that. So, um, yeah. So I would say do what you feel is right for your family. If you feel like you want to go on vacation before paying off all your debts, before funding your all your sinking funds, etc. You do what you feel is right for your family. So for this family, um, we're not doing Dave Ramsey to the T. I take some of his principles and apply it to my financial situation. So um and I'm just gonna save this. Don't come over here trying to tell me what I should do. This is my journey, and I'm going to do my journey how I see fit for my family. But if you decide to do beans and rice, as what Dave Ramsey says, before while paying off debt, then good for you. And I'm not going to come over and knock your journey. So don't knock my journey, and I will not knock your journey. Okay, so I have $12 in vacations. Housing, I am saving for a house for the future. But right now, this is temporary pause, so we're not even going to talk about this. I've got to pay my debts first before I even save for this. Okay, 
so medical this is not for medical bills but this is i'm saving currently for like medicines and stuff in the winter months i we typically go through a lot of cold medicines so i have ten dollars in here now and i am not going to add anything in here right now but i do have ten dollars in medical summer activities has nothing and it won't be getting anything and then Christmas, Christmas just has $1. And um, over here, I don't do a lot of Christmas gifts just because I can't afford it right now. So I won't start saving for Christmas until October. So and next month, we'll start saving for Christmas. Okay. And I typically will save about 100 to 150 for my daughter. And then everyone else usually gets about $30 or $40 for a gift, such as my significant other, my sister, my mom. And those are generally the people that I buy outside of my daughter. But I always make sure I get my daughter's Christmas first. Okay, so $10 for vacation. We're going to check that off. Okay, now, Miss Ashton is going to receive $20 in my cash. This is my daily cash envelope, you guys. This is my daily wallet. I take this out every day. These envelopes I don't take out every day. Okay, so gas. Gas has $10. It is the end of my two weeks. I got paid today. So I'm going to just take this out. Um, it, it will become rollover in a second. Okay, so... Gas has nothing, laundry has nothing, grocery has nothing. Ashton, Ashton is my 13-year-old daughter. She likes to get these fancy hairdos. So let's see what we have here. So I have money that I'm saving towards getting her hair done. So Ashton has 20, 30, and 40. Okay, we're gonna add in two tens. This is for her to get her hair professionally braided. I am very limited to doing hairstyles for her. Um, so this is one thing that I do do um, probably every few months for her. I will take her to the salon to get her hair professionally done. So this is what we're saving for now. 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So Ashton has $60 towards her next hairdo. Okay. Myself is Emily. I have nothing in here but a $10 Starbucks gift card. Household has nothing but 15 cents. We're going to take this 15 cents out and put it in our coin jar. I also save coins, you guys. Dining out has nothing and it's not getting anything. And miscellaneous has nothing. It's not getting anything. So let's check off. We put $20 into um, Ash's envelope. Now, I did leave $10 of that $100 that Cindy gave me in my account. And I am going to start a account buffer. So that's why I did not stuff the whole 100 she gave me. I only stuffed 90 and I left $10 in my account. Okay, so Miss Denise gifted me $25 and we st were stuffing $10 of it and $5 of that I left in my account as a buffer as well. Okay, so let's go back over to my binder here this is my high priority binder and we are going to put an additional ten dollars in car savings so let's see car savings has a total of 30. we're going to add another 10 so now car savings has 40 dollars and i will have to actually go in and write on my trackers you guys because i need to keep better count of my money in each category so car savings has 40 now and 
then I'm going back to debt, you guys. I am focused on paying off debt right now. So I have, I do have credit cards that I'm paying down, and I do have medical debt um, that I'm paying as well, and I do have student loans that are that I am not paying, but I will be making payments in the future towards. Okay, so we add a 10 to debt. So I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Let's count that one more time. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. Okay, so debt has $70 right now. This will be getting deposited back into my account soon because I have some things, some debts that I need to pay, okay? So debt has $70. And then, like I said, $5 of the cash out that Denise gave me, I left it in my account as an account, as a bank account buffer, okay? Now, that's it for my bonus cash stuffing, you guys. So, what I do typically, if I get any extra money, I will take the extra money and I will give it a, um, I'll give it a place to go, you guys. I like to be accountable for all of my money. Um, I could have just spent this money, but I wanted to be accountable for it, so I decided to place it into my 52-week savings challenge and various sinking funds so i did have ten dollars left over from gas you guys um i am going to include this ten dollars in my 52 week savings challenge i'm gonna go ahead and just roll it over now okay so we are going to do one more I am going to do number eight. So I am going to just highlight this. I am going to overstuff this too, just by a couple of dollars. So we're going to go over to week eight and put in 10. Now, once I have this filled, this binder will go towards me paying off a credit card, okay? So we just stuff week eight with ten dollars. And like I said, a lot of times I overstuff my categories. So that came over from rollover. I had ten dollars left from gas for the last two weeks that I didn't spend. So whenever I do have a rollover, I do try to stick it in my 52 week savings challenge binder. Okay, so you can find the 52 week savings challenge binder in my Amazon affiliate link if you click on the if you go in the description box click on the amazon affiliate link um then you'll see my storefront click on the storefront and you will go to various products underneath the storefront i have this 52 week savings challenge if you purchase through my link i will receive a small commission for you and um that money once i get a certain uh, payout, I will be using the money to also come back and stuff into my 52 week savings challenge. Okay, it all has a purpose over here, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed my bonus cash stuffing. I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys too. And let's do this again. And I will be back to record a second video. I will be coming back to stuff my um, my paycheck from September the 13th. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to upload this one first. And then I'll be coming to um, share and stuff my paycheck. On September the 13th. Stay tuned, you guys. Thanks for all the, um, the positive comments and feedback. And I will see you guys in the next video.